By letting the world know it isn't cool. cool. And by letting your friend know you care. Learn more at eyewitnessbullying.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. So... I'm a dog, and I just got adapted by this new human guy, and I'm starting to wonder how he got along without me. I mean, okay, something as simple as walking around the block. He's got this leash thing, and he puts me on one end and him on the other, and I'm just taking him around. I, I think he's afraid of getting lost. Without that leash and me guiding him along, I don't think he'd find his way back home. But it's kind of cute. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. Great leaders aren't born, they're made. And not just anywhere. They're made in special places by special qualified trainers. In places like the Academy of Creative Coaching. The Academy of Creative Coaching is an international certification program with courses in health and wellness coaching, spiritual coaching, relationship coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, and cultural competency coaching. Courses are online, hybrid, or face-to-face. -face. The Academy of Creative Coaching is empowering coaches to empower the world. Make a positive change in yourself and the world. Go to academyofcreativecoaching.com. Driving has a rhythm all its own. Don't wreck it with a text. Before you get behind the wheel, silence your phone. Or better yet, designate a texter. For more text-free driving tips, visit stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. Welcome to this hot topic brought to you by Dr. Kevin Dance. If your smile is becoming to you, you should be coming to us. Dr. Kevin Dance has been practicing dentistry for 16 years in beautiful southwest Atlanta. His office is located at 3752 Cascade Road, Suite 190. Complete family dentistry with everything you need in one office. Call and make an appointment at 678-836-2118. 678-836-2118. Okay, man, the hot topic it is we, we do hot topic to talk about the hot topic. And today it is about what Michael Vick did yesterday on a show on Fox Sports TV. I don't know the actual name of it, but it's that show. Um, he gets on and he comes out. And the comment that got everybody shocked was the first thing that came out of his mouth is, first of all, he need to cut his hair. <laughs> and he went on to saying that he didn't think Colin could get in because of certain things uh, as far as his play and the way he's playing and, and things of that nature. And if he wants to get back in the league, he has to do things to make the league want him back. Earlier this morning, we woke up. We got two Twitter things, one from Mike Vick saying, oh, no, I didn't say that his hair had anything to do with it. I wanted right. to make sure of that. And I did say that Colin will get a job somewhere in the middle of the year. And Colin come back to go ahead and for people who don't understand this, what this is, but go look up the Stockholm Syndrome. And uh, Colin, that was his uh, rebuttal to everything that was said yesterday. Bracey, what are your thoughts on what went down with that conversation with Vic, man? I just didn't like the platform that he did it on. Right. You know, being being on there with Whitlock, I mean, we know what Whitlock, uh, we know what he's about. Right. Uh, Mike, you, I mean, he was at Fox all day. Right. If that's how you feel, if, 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 if those are your thoughts, call Colin. I'm pretty sure you have a way to get Colin's phone number. Give Colin a call and have that conversation. Don't, don't, don't air that out in public like that because you got to understand the backlash that's going to come with it. And then don't backtrack on what you said because, again, it's, everybody saw it. Everybody heard it. It's no way for you. I mean, we couldn't mention your words because they were your words. I just, when you have a problem with somebody, give them a call. If you that, to, that's, that's just how I always feel about it. If you're going to treat somebody and you're going to say you're a big brother to somebody, the best thing to do is pull them to the side and have an actual conversation. Right, right. Um, I shouldn't see the guy um, that who's made a career, and let's be real about it with Whitlock, on saying things against athletes. That's his thing. He, he the chief. He, uh, he's got his show. He can say, I'm a great this writer, this writer. You're known for what you've said. Um, and you take the opportunity to say that because it does. it is going to blow up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do see a lot of people talking about changing image. Here's what I would challenge to anybody who want to talk about Colin Kaepernick's image. If the only thing you're seeing is his hair, that's a problem. Yeah. Um, Colin Kaepernick does more now he's done more since that incident since he's taken a knee for this his community right than any brother that's in the league now with a short haircut 
So yeah. our community should really be fighting. I'm going to jump more into it to be around here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so when we get into it, my thing was I was shocked by what Vic said only because of where he was at and why he did it. And he yeah. just did it so quick. Yeah. He didn't say, yo, this guy. He just went immediately said, first yeah. thing I do is cut his hair. I'm like, yeah. no, bro. And let's be real, y'all. If y'all want to go back to Mike Vick's career, I know a lot of people y'all putting pictures. But Mike Vick and the Vick experience was with cornrows. Right. He was at the highest of high right. with an afro. If you go back and look at his commercial with Nike, the Vick experience. He was the face of the NFL with cornrows. He had a fro. Yeah. So Vic shaved his head and he got a nice tight fade and he still went to jail for two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of what he did. Yeah. yeah. So before we go into that, so that's why, and I will get more into it. I've got it written down. Nice. Uh, pretty much what I said on my chest. <laughs> my thing is, if we're going to be this guy, and Vic, you have, we've, we've seen you, make sure you've interviewed him. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing. We, we spent two days with Mike, got to have real intimate conversation with Mike, and Honestly, I was shocked because, I mean, one of the things that he's prided himself on in his new Role. in his new life right. is to be a mentor, a mentor. To, to guys. And, again, nobody's been through what he went through. Right. You right. know, like, I mean, he really went through the ringer. And we, and we all saw it publicly. Do you know how much you, it means, Mace, if Vic could have called, if, if Colin could have been like, yo, dog, talk to me about this. What's your thoughts? Right. Or even, like I said, in, in that business, it's easy for Mike to get Colin's number. Yes. Call Colin and you guys have a conversation. And talk to him about, what do you think about cutting your hair? Right. What do you think about that as your Right. Head? Do you really want to get back in the league? What is your right. purpose? Because he might have talked to Colin and had a whole different perspective but, on the thing. But we know his hair is not the reason that he's not in the NFL. Right. Right. I mean, because his guys, you know, all kind of crazy had dudes in the NFL. Right. You know, we, we, again, we know why. Him getting the fade tomorrow not going to make a GM say, oh, yeah. now I'm going to sign him. No, that's not going to be the case. What's going to be what Vic will have to What From what I've heard from the GM of the Giants, fans don't want him until he basically apologized. He could, that's what they want him to do and say, I'm so sorry for disrespecting America. That's what they want to hear from Colin. And the fact that Johnny Manziel is getting calls now from teams tells you everything you need to know about the league. But, but people don't remember when, when all this first went down. Colin went and talked to military people. Exactly. And military people told Colin, we have no problem with what you're doing because that's why we on the front lines. That's why we fight for you to have the right to, if that's what you want to do, kneel. Neil, you have the right to do that. Right. So, I mean, you know, again, it was the wrong platform for Mike to, to do that. I, come on, Mike. Yeah. Got to be better than that. And, again, with the backtracking, now everybody like, well, again, it's out there now, Mike. All the, everybody can just press play now. And he knew he was wrong the next morning. Yeah, he, knew, he, he, well, he probably knew he was wrong later on that day because. Oh, he probably got blown up. Yeah, yeah. He got blown up. And, and the thing is, is, is Colin needs to make a decision. I will respect, and I, and I go back to a lot of us couldn't play the game today if it wasn't for people like Jim Brown and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Bill Russell who took and made stands and did things in their day because of the fact they knew stuff was wrong. Colin, what are you going to do? Is you going to play the game or are you not? I hope he doesn't. I hope the NFL and he plays. I take it, hope he take it to Canada and ball up there and make his money like Durant doing right now with 13 years, make your million dollars, <laughs> and still affect the communities the way you are. I like this, Colin. Everybody come out trying to use this phrase woke these days. This guy is more of a guy for our community than a lot of the guys that make $20 million. And by the way, if we're going to start cutting hair, you see they don't want, they ain't talked about cutting Richard Sherman hair. Yeah. Sherman's doing what he's doing. And that's just the way I feel, man. When we come back, man. I guess we're doing this being a fail. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So stay with us, Sister Chris. Okay, so five tacos, a cheese, and a large soda. That's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. 
Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Marie Callender's knows that you may not have time to roll out dough for a perfectly flaky crust that's made from scratch. Or enough time to mix vegetables with all white meat chicken and a homemade gravy. She knows you may not have a moment to crimp the edges of your favorite chicken pot pie. But Marie Callender's does. And when she's done, all you need to do is find time to grab someone special. Sit down and save her. Marie Callender's. It's time to save There's a power you have within you unlike any other. You can't explain it. It's just, it's just there. there. It drives you, compels you. You can not ignore it. Do you feel it? It's that power that tells you you can do the absolute impossible. The power that tells you you're more than what you currently are. The power that tells you it's time. Launch. Move. Skyrocket your life with Rocket Sports One Fitness Gear. Rocketsports-one.com. I'm more resourceful than I thought. My suit can still make an impression. My video games are still game changers. And my lamp can bring others a bright future. Because when I donate my stuff to Goodwill, it helps fund job placement and training for people right in my community. Now my stuff gets a second chance. And will give someone in my community a second chance too. Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Find your nearest donation center at Goodwill.org. That's Goodwill.org. This message brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. <laughs> Hey man, we want we just gonna just just a little bit talk about the NFL. I know it's around the corner, but I want to talk about something that you kind of mentioned before, and just the money in the NFL. And, and, and let's start with the guy in the Redskins. We're talking to your people right there, man. His cousins, he's gonna get twenty four mil, which ain't nothing to sneeze at. Franchise it, tag. He getting that franchise tag. We're gonna jump into it. Is he worth? Would you put long term money in him, Max? <sighs> It's a quarterback league. Yeah. He's proven that he can play the position okay. Right. He not the worst. He not the best. Right. He, <laughs> so, but, the fr- but the franchise tag says that you're going to get the average of the top five guys right. at the position. I mean, hey, clearly, clearly the Redskins aren't sold on him long term because if they were, they would have signed him to a long term deal. Right. So, if I'm Cousins, uh, again, I played franchise last year. Mm -hmm. I'm playing for the franchise this year. And, again, let me just continue to prove it's money out there for him. Because think about this. Shanahan drafted him. Right. Right. If you don't think Shanahan out there in San Francisco, like, well, you know what? I'll take him. Yeah. I'll sign him to a deal out here because he's my guy. He, He knows my offense. Right. I mean, so, hey. Yeah, guys, right now we're talking about the NFL. We were talking about the Mike Vick and all that. We'll talk about that more but later on in the show. But I just want to jump into the NFL because I'm looking at quarterbacks, and it affects Atlanta's quarterback too. Matt Ryan said he's okay that he hasn't got an extension yet, but I'm looking at this 24 million. Max might get 30. It don't, it, don't, it don't affect Matt Ryan. Max getting 30, man. Because Matt Ryan is a top – he's a true top 10 quarterback. So, so it don't affect his money. So flipping back to Cousins, is he top 15? Is Cousins top 15? Maybe. And if he's top 15, should he get a long term? And like you say, if he don't do it with Washington, San Francisco, is, they out there salivating right now. Listen, it's quarterbacks much worse than Kirk Cousins. Right. You, I, I think you can live with Kirk Cousins at quarterback. That's just my opinion. Well, I mean, are you saying that from an analyst or are you saying it from a Cowboy fan? I'm just saying. <laughs> now, no, I'm, 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 I'm talking as, just a, as a football guy. Right. You can live with Kirk Cousins as your quarterback. Like, you can roll him out there and, you know, it's some things he can do. Right, right. That, you know, you know, a lot of guys throw the ball to the other team, <laughs> you know, more than others. But I think he is, I mean, I think he's okay. Listen, you play the most important position in football. He's serviceable. He's he, a little more than serviceable. Look, again, you know, let's do our – we never get in a man's pocket. Right. And it's red skin money, so we don't really care. Right. But, uh, Kirk could be a solid quarterback, and it may affect him also, Maceo, because of the fact that's in his head of the contract and stuff like that. Because, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes you just want to be, I'm here. Maybe. But I think at the same time, too, he understands that, you know what, 
32 of these jobs. Yeah. I got one. Yeah. Nobody's going to beat me out. Right now, if I had I, – I, he's he's a playoff. Can you get him to the playoffs? Nah, he can't get him to the playoffs because he can't beat the Cowboys. I mean, that's wild card position, man. So. Well, it is, but, I mean, he can't beat the Cowboys. <laughs> and, you know, they, they going back and forth about, you know – I'm looking at their weapons. Eh, you know, they... That's true. I mean, eh. watch the guy. Then, then, then their defense is not that good either. So that's why I, I, that's why you, you want to know, and the reason why I brought the rest can just seeing this with Cousins, should you solidify the position so you can work on everything else? You have to solidify the position. But clearly, in their minds, he's not the answer. Because he, when, most organizations... When you have who you who you deem as your franchise quarterback, you pay him. Right, and that's true. That's what's kind of when you need some more proof. Right, you franchise tag him. That's what's interesting to me. It's kind of like you're sitting there, like that's what if I felt that way. I'm like, maybe I, they just don't think I'm the guy. Yeah, but again, he has an ace in his pocket because again, he knows that it's a guy on the West Coast can, who will take him in a heartbeat. Take him in a heartbeat. Switching to, I want to talk about this a little bit as well. We talk about athletes and being off in the summer. And one of the Lord, let's things, get these children back to camp. Let's <laughs> get these babies back to it's camp. Like getting them back into school. Let's school get these babies here. back to camp. And I want you to address your thoughts on Ezekiel Elliott. What's been going on with him? <sighs> Zeke, Zeke is going through a period. Zeke feeling himself. Mm. One thing about being a star. And then being a star with the Dallas Cowboys is you worldwide. Right. Say 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 what y'all want about you know the mystique of the Dallas Cowboys. When you're a Dallas Cowboy, you're a star, and you're a star everywhere. Right. I mean, number one franchise is, again. Hate if you want, but it's just facts. It's the truth. Right. The star carry weight. Right. We find out he got a speed ticket. Right. The other day, it's so many instances that now they come in the surface because his name keeps coming up and stuff. Right. Right. And I like what Hermet was saying. Hermet was saying something like, it's time to sit Ezekiel down now. And look, bro, you out of control already. <laughs> you out of control already. And you know we've had a chance to meet Dad. We, we, we had a chance to meet Dad. And we know Stacy don't look like he's a no-nonsense. He like he can crack some things. So Yeah, I, but, but <sighs> how much can Dad right. really – Say to it because he and he kind of said it in so many words, he sure did. Like, you know, I mean, hey, you know, hey, it took off like a rocket for us, right? He said that, yeah. And it's been a uh, metal roar from Ohio State, Listen, Rise, he's, been, now, he's been the guy in two big organizations, he's been the guy since high school. You know, he you heard me called Ohio State organization, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he played on a big stage at Ohio State, and yeah. he was the guy, he was the guy. Now look, I mean, look, look, look what his peers in the NFL thought of him. They made him a top what five, six player, top five, six in five, the six, league man. in year one. My thing with Ezekiel, man, I'm hoping he's. We talk about running backs and their shelf life, and, and, and that's my he's point. Also running back, he, you're a running back. I mean, you are dynamic, but teams will be like, look. Listen, Dak is I do, and 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 the way <laughs> Ezekiel plays the game, the hurdling, yeah, and like yeah. he plays a very physical style of football. He's had a lot of carries on his body since high school. Ezekiel, quit going out. Get to camp early. Rain, rain it in. Come bring that thing in. Hey man, just don't bring the White House back, baby. Just don't, just don't bring the White House back, baby. Hey man, we'll be right back. Health is at stake. Diabetes, gout, high blood pressure, inflammation, and joint pain, even weight loss. It's time to end your battle. The Abundant Life Movement is dedicated to the building of generational health by transforming your water with the power of alkaline to improve hydration and fight against acidic and unhealthy conditions in the body. Here's a testimonial from Linda Rogers Brown and Pamela McMillan. 2011, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had no pain and no symptoms associated with that illness. It's a silent killer. 
I was introduced to Extreme X2O Alkaline Water, and within two days of drinking it, I was off all my pain medicine, and now we're six years strong, no chemo, no radiation, no cancer. I am a three-time cancer survivor. I was born with thyroid cancer. By being on the alkaline products allowed me to be able to cope currently with colon cancer. Now I'm able to function and be more mobile within three days of being on the product. Extreme X2O, when the water you're drinking is damaging your health. Extreme X2O. For more info, Abundant Life movement.com or call 910-527-2260. Adopt US Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. You've accidentally cut your daughter's bangs unevenly. Do you A, line things up a centimeter from her hairline? Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. No, 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 no. Sweatbands are so hot right now. Everyone's wearing them. Like that basketball player and that other basketball player. B, get spiritual. Mom, where did all the mirrors go? A reflection could never capture our true selves. Huh? Beauty is within? Um. C, look on the bright side. Less time blow drying, more time texting. Or D, show empathy. Mom, you really don't have Ta-da! to... Ta-da! Twinsies! <laughs> I kind of love it. <laughs> As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. Okay, so five tacos, a cheese, and a large soda. That's $10,012. Please drive around. Wait, 10000 what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Station Station Network. Radio Radio Atlanta. Going to the question interview brought to you by ORC Software. The ORC team is committed to providing full life cycle support for developing, testing, and delivering market driven products. The ORC's motto is when a customer engages one of us, they engage all of us. Go to ORC.com, O R A S I.com for more information. Hey, show, please introduce our guest, sir. Man, this young fella coming to the microphone, Mr. Tyrone C. Lewis, has a product out here in these streets y'all need to know about EliteYouthNutrition.com. And he say, man, this is going to save these, athletes, these young athletes' lives, man. Let's talk about it. What's up, Tyrone? How you doing tonight? What's going on, brother? Oh, no, Appreciate man. you having us, having us. No doubt, no doubt. So, Tyrone, let's talk about it. Tell us what is this Elite Youth. So, uh, so what Elite Youth Nutrition is, is, uh, you know, parents basically a lot of times, you know, you're training young athletes, you're right. pushing these kids to the limit. And parents are spending tons of dollars on trainers. But everybody neglects the nutrition side of things when it mm. comes to these kids. So... You know, you go to the top train in the city paying $50 an hour and then drive away and pull up to McDonald's. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> so <laughs> so that's that's kind of where this idea was birthed. And, um, you know, myself, you know, having a child who plays sports, I'm always looking for something that, you know, would be beneficial to him. So uh, what kind of we begun doing was doing some research. It all started with research. After speaking with the pediatricians, uh, sports nutritionists, that kind of thing. Um, we broke down all the leading nutritional products for kids. Uh, mm. Flintstone vitamins, you know, Flintstones been around forever. <laughs> um, you know, then you got you got the generic Flintstones, and you got the gummies, then you got all these different vitamins. But the gummies are full of sugar, Flintstones, aspartame, and they're really not designed. I mean, think about it: if a five-year-old who doesn't do anything can take it, how am I going to give it to my ten-year-old, a nine-year-old, an eight-year-old, a fifteen-year-old right. who's burning everything that he puts in his body? Right. 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 I got a kid. You know, he can't. Man, I mean, it takes effort to put two pounds on him wow. because he's constantly <laughs> on the move. Wow. You know, so um, that's really where this idea came about. And then uh, once we begun the formulation process, we realized that one of the major issues kind of facing youth athletes across the country is heat-related injury, mm. and. Um, once we looked at that piece, we said, well, you know what? Let's create a product that satisfies their daily nutritional, vitamin, and mineral needs, as well as AIDS hydration. And that's where uh, this multivitamin was formulated from that, from that idea. And uh, so our initial flavor is blue ice. Um, the kids love it. You know, it's sugar-free, aspartame-free, um, low in sodium. 
Uh, they drink it's a one a day multi that they can drink. You know, it's really per- parents' preference on mm-hmm. um, whether they drink it in the morning, afternoon, or post workout. You know, one of the things we've all, all seen right out the gate though from the children who've been taking it is uh really they recovery time. Like right. the kids are recovering right. much more right. quickly because people don't realize when you're vitamin deficient, what happens is the body fails to absorb the nutrients from the food you eat. Because the body doesn't really know how to balance things out, so it ends up pushing, creating more waste instead of less waste. Right. Let, me, let me ask you this, Tyrone. You said something very interesting, especially during this time, your kids, they're practicing, they're going hard, and then the parents take the kids to go eat fast food. Right, absolutely. Don't make no sense. It's common. It's, it's, pretty, <laughs> much, it's pretty much nightly. It's a nightly practice, you know? And, uh, I mean, it's it's one of the greater hurdles in youth sports, Um one of the things that, you know, we tried to do within our program two years ago was uh, do almost team dinners at least once a week. Right, so right. We, we, so we knew, you know, at least after practice, they were going to get a grilled burger, some salad. You know, one of the grandmas might make some lasagna, some, you know, just something more well-rounded than obviously, you know, Mickey D's or, <laughs> uh, you know, even Chick-fil-A, you know, that kind of thing. Mine, I, I try to pull up the Golden Corral or something. At least, hey, man, eat. You know, right, eat, right, eat right. a little bit of everything, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, so do you hear a lot of people saying that, just in your research, how deficient are the kids becoming? Because it looked like to me, maybe I didn't understand it when I was younger, but it looked like kids working a lot longer now and harder than they used to. Oh, my gosh. It, in terms of the, the level of intensity and, and the expectations on these kids. Mm. So – a lot of these children, like, you know, youth athletes in general, I mean, they have high expectations. Right. Um, because of social media, you know, people see them performing at a high level earlier, which a lot of times, you know, will cause parents to push harder. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, you know, and it's, it's created a lot of outlets for trainers, and it's created a lot of outlets for a lot of people. So it's all more in high demand. Um, and the kids, you know, so therefore you've got a lot more active youth athletes. And in, in turn, you've got, you know, people who, I mean, even when you finish a workout, you know, you fill them up with Gatorade. Gatorade, right. regular Gatorade is still sugar. I mean, it's a ton, a ton of sugar. A ton of sugar, right. You know, so that's where EYN comes into play. You know, elite youth nutrition, what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, it's for youth athletes across the country. Really, it's for any high-achieving child. You know, like I tell parents, I mean, your child plays a violin, cello, or anything else. Still needs to, you know, be have, have a well-balanced diet. Still needs to, you know, not be vitamin or mineral deficient. You know, if you're in the band, you're out there walking around in the heat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's where this comes into play as well. I mean. One one of the things when I was reading up on this too, and, and you talk about hydration so much, I just don't think people understand that you can't, the day of the the exercise or the day of the event, you can't start drinking water that morning or start hydrating then. It's too late. It's too late. And it's got it really has to become a lifestyle. It really has to become a lifestyle. Myself. Included. I don't drink. Most days, I force myself to drink. I'll be like, hey, T, drink water. You know, that kind of thing. Right. But with the kids, you know, I tell you, honestly, our greatest hurdle with this product was reminding parents that this is a a one-a-day. Because what happens is the kids want to drink it more than once. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because (laughs) it tastes good to them. So, like, those two, oh, that man, this good, this good. Any kid that gets to try it, they're like, oh, this good. I'm telling you, it's good. You know, that kind of thing. So <laughs> They mixing it up all day. Yeah, exactly. So, next thing you know, so that's why, because it's still a supplement, it still has to be, you know, handled a certain way. Everything is, you know, the label, FDA approved, you know, FDA process, that whole deal. Not approved, but it's gone through the FDA process for the label and that whole deal. So, I mean, it's it's ready to roll. We come back, man. We're gonna talk more about the product, how to use it, and some of the effects that you've seen when kids have been taking it. So, gotcha, definitely. Let's talk about it. When we come back, Mr. Crush. What's up, it's Garrison Hurst, University of Georgia? You're listening to the Crush on Sensation Station Network. Go dogs! Major key alert. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it. So make it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchooled.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. You don't usually get a stock tip from a 16-year-old, but I'm here to tell you about a different kind of stock. It's called Better Futures. A stock for social change that's not about making money. Instead, you invest to help students like me go to college. This is beyond a simple donation. It's the opportunity for America to invest in its kids, 
and take an active stake in the future of the country. The return on your investment isn't money. What you get back is knowing you protected our potential. So one day, that potential can grow up to become surgeons and architects, executives and engineers, people who can change the future just by being a part of it. My name is Alicia, and I am your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. A public service announcement brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. People are always looking to invest in a good opportunity. So what if you could invest in the future of kids, like a stock? Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change called Better Futures. With your investment, it helps students like me go to college. My name is Charles, and I'm your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. Brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior task and drill. I'm an expert, and I'm a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong, and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. We're back, man. You listen to the Crush Sports Talk on the Cessation Station Network and also on WBLZsports.com. We're here right here now with our man Tyrone Lewis of Elite Youth Nutrition. And Tyrone, what I want to ask you about is what has been some of the things you've seen so far in the players that have taken? I know you've said they like the taste and all, but as far as recuperation and things of that nature, what have you been able to see from it? I'll tell you um, what, I, what I've seen and what we've seen consistently from the youth athletes that have taken this product is recovery um, from a from a standpoint of the next day they're not sore, they're not suffering from the same you know aches and pains that they would have been from a similar workout you know prior to taking the product. Mm -hmm. um, in my own child, what I've seen is the ability to add weight. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is a lot of people don't really want you know you don't want your kid to gain weight, but I mean it's it's been just good pounds. And uh, you know for him you know I mean it's hey anything that'll help. Right. You know and. Right. Uh, Absolutely, like from a hydration perspective, like the kids, like you can tell that they've got just that little bit of oomph, that little extra get go, you know, where a kid might have been, you know, a little more sluggish right, right now. And um, from the parents, I guess, as a parent, a lot of times parents just want their kids to take a product, you know, take something like a vitamin. Like you've been, like you said, you know, you grew up, take your vitamins, take your vitamins, yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. Take, you take these two little chewables and it's like, okay, what did I just take? Yeah. You know, but now it's like it's, it's got a purpose. You know what I'm saying? So what happens is now you have a child reminding the parent, I need to take my vitamin. You see what I'm saying? And it's big. And with, like a lot of times with this product, it's sugar-free again, and you've got, hey, you tell your kid drink water. Well, can I have my vitamin instead? Like, and that, you see what I'm, I'm serious, and it's consistent. Yeah. yeah. It's real consistent. And, so. I, and I like the fact that it is sugar-free because I think people really don't understand that sugar is the number one problem. Like, it's it's so hard to get that process out of your body. Right. So with this product right here, I mean, I just can't understand why parents gravitate toward this. Stop putting, stop bringing them two, three Gatorades a day. Take this. And then drink water. It, thank you. Do drink water. <laughs> and then drink water. So when you're coming up with an idea like this, how long is the process for you to get it to thought to jar <laughs> hey man this this was pretty much a 12-month process mm. i mean from conception to the uh cons consultative process sitting down with you know the people you know medical professionals like i said um people in the sports industry sports trainers just trying to see and understand what depletes um specifically uh boys track coach you know he was one of the people who kind of like said you know you got to realize that every kid depletes differently 
Right. So, you know, some kids, and they, they saw that with LeBron. Remember, LeBron had those major cramping issues, and it was like, well, he's losing more fluid or this or that. And everybody's got different things. So it's like all of a sudden you start looking, and it's like, you know, um, you've got your B12, which will help increase energy. You've got, you know, um, your potassium, those types of things like uh, vitamin C, vitamin A, D, E, and, and so on and so forth. And it's like, you know, you just don't know what depletes in your child. Mm -hmm. So having a balanced, well-rounded product right. was what we wanted to create. Right. Um, the product is made here in the United States. Right. It's made in FDA-approved labs. It's made, it's quality tested three times. For uh, when all the raw materials come in, they're actually tested for heavy metals, uh, bacteria, anything of those natures. It's tested again. Each bottle's got a lot number on it uh, and an expiration date. So... I mean, everything's solid, good to go, safety sealed twice. And what, what I'm impressed about is, like, the thought process. And I, I'm guessing with you having a son who's in athletics, this kind of sparked the conversation with this. I'm t well, I'm telling you, brother, it started out literally online, searching Amazon, eBay, bodybuilding.com, trying to find a product for youth athletes, and there was nothing out there. It was, not, it was no multivitamin. I was trying to find a vitamin for kids who play sports. Mm -hmm. Couldn't find it. When we come back, man, we're going to make sure we come back one more segment and talk to you about it. But we also want to make sure people can know where to go get this product. So Absolutely. Thank let's, you. let's flood the block, let's baby. Let's flood it. Let's get it. We'll be right back. Listen, as a hiring manager, I've got to tell you, the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate. Sometimes they're a grad of life. Meet the grads of life. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. One in seven Americans will struggle with addiction during their lifetime. Want to know how you can help? Go to heretolisten.com for tips and tools to help turn addiction around. A public service announcement brought to you by the Ad Council. Major key alert. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it. So make it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschooled.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. You don't usually get a stock tip from a 16-year-old, but I'm here to tell you about a different kind of stock. It's called Better Futures. A stop for social change that's not about making money. Instead, you invest to help students like me go to college. This is beyond a simple donation. It's the opportunity for America to invest in its kids and take an active stake in the future of the country. The return on your investment isn't money. What you get back is knowing you protected our potential. So one day, that potential can grow up to become surgeons and architects, executives and engineers, people who can change the future just by being a part of it. My name is Alicia, and I am your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. A public service announcement brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. There's a power you have within you unlike any other. You can't explain it. It's just, it's just there. there. It drives you, compels you. You can not ignore it. Do you feel it? It's that power that tells you you can do the absolute impossible. The power that tells you you're more than what you currently are. The power that tells you it's time. Launch. Move. Skyrocket your life with Rocket Sports One Fitness Gear. RocketSports-One.com. Hey, man, we are back. We right now, we just, you know, we have to test it for the people. Yeah. We tested this athletic, the elite youth program, and it gets our thumbs of approval. You know, because I ain't a berry guy either. It's funny you were talking about that story. I ain't a big berry drinker. Yeah. But I could get that in. That's good. And I know my kids love it too. Both of them, we working with sports, so we'll use it there. But talk to them where people can reach out to you and find out and get this product, man, to get to their kids, man. So currently the product is only available online um, at uh, EliteYouthNutrition.com mm -hmm. or um, reps, you know, in certain markets right now who are selling it individually. Um, but uh, we're looking to expand. We're, we're in the process of actually looking at uh, some regional reps 
okay. kind of put in place to uh, help, you know, distribute the product across the country. Um, you know, and we're really excited about it. Now, can't leave without talking about this young fellow over here in the corner, man. <laughs> First, I want to commend you on the work that you put in and making sure that he gets the proper exposure. Appreciate it. How did that start clicking in your mind like that? Like, I, I, really, I got I to gotta I really, get him out there. Man. I really didn't try and get him out there, though. You know what? That's what's crazy. Is I really It was God, man. So he was playing up at Osborne. He played at Osborne. He played at five, he played at six. Six, he played at seven. And we scrimmaged the team down from the city. And I said, man, you know, that is a little more aggressive, a little more active. I said, man, let's go down here. And he hadn't played quarterback yet. That was His first year playing quarterback was seven U with the Ducks. And uh, so he never even played quarterback, but I've been training him. I've been, you know, teaching him, teaching him how to, you know, do what he does. And, you know, once the program really created a platform. I mean, God gave him the gift. The program created a platform. And, you know, the exposure happened. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, the Instagram kind of started growing. And, you know, we were blessed to have people like Walt and Callie come in with sports clips. And, uh, um, you know, really, I mean, Curly first year with Media Group Graphic, you know, those guys, man, that's what it was. Mm. And, yeah, and then, I, you know, the events, I mean, he just, people, yeah. people asked for him to come to events. Now, the event was crazy, the Mike Vick thing, so I snuck him in because he wasn't supposed to be there. It was a middle school event. Yeah, he wasn't old enough. But, yeah. but, I, but I was at the house, and I was like, yo, I was like, he got a chance to meet Mike. I was like, and he it was crazy. The morning of, he was like, Dad, you told me it was a middle school thing, and I just want to go out here. And he was worried he wasn't going to make the finals. He was so, he was like, man. I said, dude, do what you do, right. and you're going to be where you're supposed right. to be. As a, as a quarterback coach, the, the, the first thing I noticed, that, and, and this is what you can't teach a quarterback, he anticipate. He, he know how – you can't get people to understand enough. You can't teach anticipation. Right. They either got it or they don't. Mm. And he would – all everybody would throw. It's like receivers still running, and he had the innate ability. Oh, man, the ball out of my hand. Yeah. That, that's on you to go do whatever you're going to do. <laughs> right. You can't teach that. Right. Is he enjoying the process? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That dude – it's crazy because somebody – so he just got a – you know, he, he uses Nike balls. And he just got this Vapor 1 Nike ball. It's like a $100 ball. Man. Yeah. Got two of them. And the kid won't put it down, man. When I say slept with it, <laughs> slept with it every night since he got it in the house doing tricks with. It. I mean, you know, it's just it's what he does, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think it's uh, it's, he's he's blessed to be at a point where he's starting to embrace it. Man, y'all down at Florida State, like say he he won the Mike Vick competition, man. Listen, yeah. big I'm, I'm boy. I, I got to come see him play now. He, he almost must see Saturday uh, after morning afternoon for me. That's, that's, that's what's it. up. Appreciate it. One more time, promote the product for me, man. www.eliteyouthnutrition.com. Uh, follow us on Instagram, at Elite Youth Nutrition, and uh, get it for your kids. I'm telling you. We've tasted it. If you, if you don't get it now, you're going to get it later. And then be like, oh, man, why am I paying so much? I'm not locked in. I ain't one of the fans. We're trying to get y'all in in the beginning. Hey, man, yeah. I'm trying, hey, we're trying to put y'all on the ground floor, man. Thank yeah. you, man, for coming through, Appreciate baby. It. Thank Appreciate you. it. Good stuff. Can we keep these? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Come That's on. for you. We get products. Hey, man, we come back. We got to take a photo, man. Stay with us. It's the crush. Definitely. This is Judge Hatchet, and you're listening to The Crush on SSNATL.com. Major key alert. Life is like school. You will be tested, so pass it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. Your health is at stake. Diabetes, gout, high blood pressure, inflammation, and joint pain. Even weight loss. It's time to end your battle. The Abundant Life Movement is dedicated to the building of generational health by transforming your water with the power of alkaline to improve hydration and fight against acidic and unhealthy conditions in the body. Here's a testimonial from Linda Rogers Brown and Pamela McMillan. 2011, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had no pain and no symptoms associated with that illness. It's a silent killer. I was introduced to Extreme X2O alkaline water, and within two days of drinking it, I was off all my pain medicine, and now we're six years strong, no chemo, no radiation, no cancer. I am a three-time cancer survivor. I was born with thyroid cancer. By being on the alkaline products allowed me to be able to cope currently with colon cancer. Now I'm able to function and be more mobile within three days of being on the product. Extreme X2O, when the water you're drinking is damaging your health. Extreme X2O. For more info, Abundant Life movement.com or call 910-527-2260. 
Coming to Tampa Bay, I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com, we came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was one of the biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but get knocked out again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying Colts are never going to win one. And I did wonder why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would. But I determined that I had to have Christ first and that everything else came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being our year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it. And it was a wonderful feeling. Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the lens of Jesus Christ. And he got us to that ultimate victory. I'm Tony Dungy, and I am second. Listen, as a hiring manager, I've got to tell you, the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate. Sometimes they're a grad of life. Meet the grads of life. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. Going to the Crush Rundown brought to you by Cricket Wireless. Cricket has something epic for you. Get a free select 4G LTE smartphone like the Samsung Galaxy Amp 2. Plus a $50 bill credit when you switch. Cricket Wireless is something to smile about. Hey, man, this is the part of the show where we're going to run through some topics that might not be part of our main topics. It's our rundown, and we're going to run down a few subjects. Somebody say, you want to start it off, bro? Sure. What you got for us? Uh, Carolina Panthers uh, tackle Michael Orr. He wasn't on that list of guys happy to see uh, Dave Gettleman get fired. Right. Uh, Mr. Blindside said uh, Gettleman was one of the only people who constantly checked up on his well-being. And also says, man, karma is a bleep, 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 bleep for all the guys who praying on that man downfall. Wow. That's, that's your thoughts. It's funny when you see certain players feel certain ways and then right. certain players feel a certain different way, man. It is Interesting about that. Uh, well, you know what they come down to? The money. Who got the biggest check? Who got who got paid? He let me go. I don't like him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got paid. He good. He Gucci to me. And, it, and it's... But let me ask you this, Mace. From what I'm... And to talk about this for a little bit. Would he be the reason why they had such a downfall this year? Gentlemen? Yeah. No. It wasn't him. No. He still brought the players in. He... Did what he was supposed to do. It's just they couldn't. I mean, do it. look at what he had to do. I mean, what you can look back on and say now, yeah, you probably should have paid Josh Norman. But in that market and what they had coming up, yeah. I mean, in his mind, it didn't make sense. And again, now that he's gone, because that is say the hang up was he wanted to pay uh, the linebacker. Yeah, what's his name? Thomas Davis. Thomas Davis. He didn't want to pay the tight end, Olsen. Right. So, I mean, now it looks like, you know what, man? Davis going to get his money. Speaking of Thomas Davis, I ain't forgot about that, bro. Hey, man. You and Thomas Davis, I thought y'all was going to get it. He started it. I mean, you know. Right. Boo to the 49ers, right? Talking that Atlanta stuff. But then he going to, you know. Anyway. Hey, man. Hey, real quick, man. This weekend, you guys got a chance to see the WNBA All-Stars. Have you know the crush has been covering the dream pretty strong this year. We've had a lot of people in here, and it's good to say, man, that our girl Tiffany Hayes is a starter. Yes, yes. Uh, for the East, man, and it just felt good to see that. We talked to her a little bit about it. Uh, Mama won't be making a car drive 40, nah. 45 hours, but Tiffany Hayes is in the Eastern Conference backcourt. She told us today it was funny. She finally joined some of the other Connecticut people. Yeah. Other players for the East is Jasmine Thompson, Thomas, out of Connecticut, uh, Elena Della Don. Washington. But she got hurt the other night. She got hurt. Don't know if she going to play. Tina Charles, we've seen her in person. And the last is John Quayle Jones out of Connecticut. For the West, is a who's who of a who in the West, Maceo. Sue Bird at the point. Whew. Diana Taurasi at the two. The UConn, UConn <laughs> Invitational. Maya Moore at the three. Sylvia Files at the center. And Candace Parker. Hey, real quick, Gary, Gary Owens checking in. He, he stuck in that rain delay. 
and uh, Sutra. Sutra, that what you get for hating on all the people that you just put in this list right here. You hating yesterday, man. Yeah, like, hey, yeah. See, see, like, see hey, what hating get you. You know, stuck in the ring. Gary's our folks, though. What up to you? Gary, That's our dog. Hey, what's, what's up to you? But man, hey, we get a chance, man. We like I say, we cover the dream. We cover. If the, you the haven't NBA. been out to see the Atlanta Dream, shame on you. It's an excellent venue. Have fun. It's a lot of fun, man. So a lot of fun. I think right now is like to say, watch us work, man. Watch them work, man. Ladies watch be work. working, man. Watch work. be working, man. What you got, Mason? Jerry Jones hasn't talked to the NFL about uh, number twenty-one, Ezekiel <laughs> Elliott. Wait a minute, you finna say you gonna call him twenty-one? But he has spoken to Zeke. Okay. He had. He's not saying what him and Zeke talked about, but like I said, we talked about it earlier. I like what Hermet was say. Hermet was say, "Let's sit the young fella down now, and let's try to rein him in before he gets out of control. Because yeah. if we can't rein him in doing his rookie contract, we definitely ain't gonna be able to rein him in when it's time to pay him." And that's the thing, man. When you uh, come on, Zeke, I don't want to see. And we know Zeke comes from a great family, have a great home. I want him to enjoy life, but don't overjoy. Yourself to the point where you ain't got a job no more. Right. Don't 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 trick yourself out the lead. Cause let's be real. Me and you talk about this. Running backs, as great as you are, Zeke, don't get it wrong. You a bad boy. You are bad. Yeah. But we're in a different league now. We're yeah, running we, backs yeah. are about three or four years in yeah. now. I mean, we're looking for the next product. Look look at look at Le'Veon Bell. That that should be a harsh, harsh. If I was his guy, harsh reality. I bring the new paper with that Le'Veon. I know they. I might even print it offline and be like. Psh. I know you know you seen. I just retweeted. Yeah, I just at Zeke all day. Look at this, and then you know Le'Veon is they guy, he, right? And they need to get him an extension, right? Just think about that. I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna keep it moving. Hey man, a lot of guys have been chiming in on this whole Vic thing, man. And uh, like I said, we'll talk about it. But uh, Shannon Sharp says the difference between you and shout out the hard work for tagging us, and it is Sharp to Mike Vic. You went to prison, and had to change your image. <laughs> <laughs> Kaepernick took a knee. <laughs> It's always that that image of Vic, the dog fight stuff. It came down. They were getting ready to do the premiere for the uh, team video. And Fox Vic. And he was Fox. he was outside of Fox, and he was like, "Man, the whole world love Mike Vic." <laughs> you talking and third person and everything. Yeah, and then he was just line. a he was just a totally different guy when he walked in when he walked in that courtroom for the first time. When they told him two years, he like, "Yeah, and we need we need all that money back." Yeah. Arthur Blank said, "I need that." I need that. And, you know, like I said, I just saw that a lot of people chimed in, you know. And, look, we have our opinions. And you'll hear mine a little stronger in a few minutes. But, mm. And I understand some of y'all, some people we've seen say they like what Mike said. You do have to, with corporate America, have to straighten up a little bit. But that ain't corporate America. We'll keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't corporate America up though. What you got, man? Oh, it's on me? Yeah. Yeah, man, Kirk Cousins said a deal was very close with the Washington Redskins. He said he good with playing for $24 million this year. It's not bad work. And I don't blame him. I mean, he work, just don't get no signing bonus. It's not bad work. But Kirk drive a, he drives a, a, a van, a conversion van. So Kirk, <laughs> Kirk ain't hurting for no money. Kirk no, good. He probably want to that keep his money. Yeah, Kirk, got, Kirk has a conversion van. He got somewhere. He trying to get his kid to eat later. Right. So, like um, Kirk Cousins thing about generations. Yeah. Generational wealth. So for all y'all who thought Manu was retiring last year, hold up. <sighs> Manu Ginobili is finalizing a contract to return for his 16th season with the San Antonio Spurs. He got to be coming off the bench. He's always been off the bench, though, man. This is what he do. He really got to be coming <laughs> off the bench. I'm talking about a lot. Not the sixth or seventh, man. I'm talking about like eighth. For, <laughs> for all y'all want to ask how old is he, he's turning 40 next week. Manu Ginobili. Manu's a Leo, so shout out to my boy. Manu. Wow. <laughs> all right, Manu. So Manu going to get about, okay, he's going to get his double digits in money. 40 years old? He probably got – and you know they can't play him much during the season. Right. That's what I'm saying. So he Listen, go- Tony Parker not coming back to January. Oof. Manu need to really look at this. Like, do I really want to come back? Because they going to suck for – to Tony Parker get back. And then Kawhi cut his braids off. Hey, man, that's, that's going to be a long season out there in San Antonio, man. And also San Antonio is trying to – reading. I'm just reading, you know, some things. And they saying they're trying to re-up with Paul Gasol as well. It's gonna be an old team again this year. Man, whatever. That t- the, the West is young now. The Golden State ain't going nowhere, Macy. Huh? Nah. And you nah. getting older with bringing forty year old and thirty seven year old players. 
that don't seem too good for you, San Antonio. But hey, Popovich, you a genius? We, I'm, I don't look. I'm not questioning you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our boy Rock chimed in. He said, "Cousins is garbage." <laughs> Hey man, y'all leave Kurt alone, man. Hey man, it is RG three played itself out the league, man. Yeah, y'all can't get saying. mad at cousins. Yeah, yeah. Look like look real genius to draft two quarterbacks right. in that draft. Hey, we always like, man, you out your mind. Yeah, you got yeah. RG three. Yeah, good. Look real genius now. Well, that was quick. Yeah, that was. I told if you need, we we'll come back, man. We about to take a quick station identification. Station Did identification. Did I say that right, Brian? Hey man, we will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, we're going to this crush second now. We're brought to you by the Cobb Football League. Registration is now open. The Cobb Football Football League provides a high school feeder youth football and chip programs for kids in K through fifth grade in Cobb County, Paulden County, Marietta City, Roswell City Schools. Go to CobbFootball.com for more information. We're in the second hour of the show. Right now, we're in the Crush Rundown brought to you by Cricket Wireless. And we're just going through some stories, man. We were just talking about Manu, and he's a little up there in age. Just a little bit. Just, a little bit. Just, okay. Uh, just, so you say. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, Macy, I want to chime in on something. I'm NFL Network is saying that the deal for Le'Veon was five years, 12 mil, and he turned it down. 12 mil a year. Yeah, because he gonna that's what he getting as, as the franchise tag. The franchise tag. So he's like, yeah. he's gonna give me the same thing. For no, no value for a running back. And he probably had it with about thirty mil was <laughs> guaranteed. So. Listen, the no value out here for a running back, none. Hey right, man, I just want to add on to your story, man. What's, what else you got for it, brother? The NBA and Nike they unveiled the new uniforms today. Uh, the jerseys are lighter, more flexible. The logos are stitched on, kind of like the NFL uh, jerseys. Mm-hmm. Bigger arm holes, and they tweak the collar, so it's going to be a little flashy up front. The jerseys are also made out of recycled plastic bottles, and they will dry 15% faster than the Adidas jerseys that, that's going out the door now. Very interesting. Nike always going to find a way to make it pop. They sure they, do. That's just what Nike do. They had to, man. They had to. They just, that's just what they do. Uh, Paul Pierce has signed on as a to finish his career as a Celtic. Do they get any money for this? When they no, do they just sign a one-day contract, take picture, and yeah, it's just know, more of a wave. It's, it's the thing. Pump and circumstance. Well, here's what Paul Pierce say. It's time to take down the king in the East. He tired of seeing LeBron host that Eastern Conference title. He's year, never liked LeBron. Year after year. So he's saying that he wants to help the Celtics, even though he just signed on as an ESPN analyst. So I don't know how this going to work for him. But he want to help them do what they can to – Defeat LeBron in the Cleveland Cavaliers. But here's the thing also. You know Paul Pierce is petty, right? He don't like LeBron. But not only that, but you know what he wore to the press conference when he signed that one day? What he wore? He had some net shorts on with Danny Ainge right beside him. That's what he traded him to. Yeah, well, I mean, You hey. know Paul Little Pierce. You know, he's a little petty. That, that's him. That's him. <laughs> he do. But just to see that, so he signed on. Paul has a lot of good going on. He's going to finish as a Celtic. He's at, with ESPN, and he wants the king to come down, man. He wants to stop that. Seven years straight is a lot, man. We'll see. Is it eight or seven? We'll see. Seven straight. Seven straight. Yep. Good Lord. What you got, man? Ezekiel Elliott is uh, appealing his ticket for driving 100 miles per hour in a 70-mile-per-hour zone on the Dallas North Tollway in Frisco, Texas. Can we please get these guys to (laughs) training camp? Please. Please can we get these guys to tour days. That's all we ask. Please. Oh, yeah. If I read one more Ezekiel Elliott story, I'm gonna scream. That's all we ask, man. It's the... Like, dude, get these kids. Come on, man. Camp. We can't. I don't want to see Darren McFadden toting the mail for the first two games. I'm good with Alfred Morris, but that means Darren McFadden gonna have to get some carries. I don't want to see that. Boy, that's a long. I don't want that in my life. Let's take a step back. I don't want that in my Let's life. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at you them first two weeks and be like, um, I'm gonna man, I'm gonna have to find something to do the first. Yeah. But you know what? I'm not even tripping. You know what? Man, we got four at quarterback. You know what? Scratch that. Suspend man, suspend Zeke, man. Get Zeke a couple of games. You just playing? No, nah, I'm not playing. I'm dead for real. Want them the coach and me just came out, man. Do what you're supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do. See, you you one of the people. Hey man, we're gonna bump for him right there. Now sit his butt down. Teach him a valuable lesson. 
Sound good today. Sound good today. <laughs> Close we get the football season. Hey man, I was just playing. Yo, we need to get I'm not playing. Play. Sit Zeke down. Sit him. Okay. We bees in the trap. I guess so. You better get trapped. And we'll be right back. <laughs> now we come to the special feature of our program. Sensation Station Network. Calendars knows that you may not have time to roll out dough for a perfectly flaky crust that's made from scratch. Or enough time to mix vegetables with all white meat chicken and a homemade gravy. She knows you may not have a moment to crimp the edges of your favorite chicken pot pie. But Marie Calendars does. And when she's done, all you need to do is find time to grab someone special. Sit down and savor. Marie Calendars. It's time to say JBT 700 Miami Circle 30324. It's not a chain, it's a chain reaction. Invest $49 a month at a real gym. For more info, go to facebook.com forward slash jeans body tech. Hi, this is Terry Crews, actor, former football player, and father of five. I'm also an expert on drama. There's a good kind that comes with having a house full of kids, and there's silly drama like the drama around my percolating pectorals. And then there's the drama you can skip. Skip the drama that comes with not having your high school diploma or equivalency. Find free adult education classes near you and finish your diploma. Visit finishyourdiploma.org. That's finishyourdiploma.org. And lead the drama to actors like me. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ed Council. Major Key Alert. Life is like school. You will be tested. So pass it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. There's a power you have within you unlike any other. You can't explain it. It's just, just yeah. there. It drives you, compels you. You can not ignore it. Do you feel it? It's that power that tells you you can do the absolute impossible. The power that tells you you're more than what you currently are. The power that tells you it's time. Launch. Move. Skyrocket your life with Rocket Sports One Fitness Gear. RocketSports-One.com. Hi, this is Terry Crews, actor, former football player, and father of five. I'm also an expert on drama. There's a good kind that comes with having a house full of kids, and there's silly drama like the drama around my percolating pectorals. And then there's the drama you can skip. Skip the drama that comes with not having your high school diploma or equivalency. Find free adult education classes near you and finish your diploma. Visit finishyourdiploma.org. That's finishyourdiploma.org. And lead the drama to actors like me. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ed Council. That's what I'm talking about, Mace. Is that what you're talking about, Glaze? That's what I'm talking about, Crush. Well, that's what I'm talking about, Glaze. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, Glaze. Hey, man, we're going to That's What I'm Talking About, brought to you by Rocket Sports One. It's not for the mediocre. Rocket Sports One is the fitness gear you use to skyrocket your life. Go to Rocket Sports Dash One. Dot com to find out more about their gear. And make sure what's their motto, man. Rock the rocket, baby. Rock the rocket. Rock the rocket. That's what I'm talking about, man, when we talk about the good stories that are going out there, man. Some good stories just to lift it up. We've been kind of negative a little bit about today, but we've heard about some good things. We're going to keep the good things going. Make sure what you got for us today, bro. That's what I'm talking about, Andre Johnson. He will become the first member inducted into the Houston, Texas Ring of Honor. Awesome. Very fitting tribute for the first star. Of that organization. Awesome. Just skipped over uh, Brother Carl, who was their f- first ever draft pick. Yeah, he was there for a minute, man. He, he was there. He but got gun shy. He couldn't. He yeah, couldn't. man, he got beat up a he lot, got man. Hit so hard, man. Andre man. Johnson, well deserving. They need to get him something. That's what we're talking about. They need to give him a, a mention in the dome or something for all the punishment he got in there. But shout out to Andre Johnson. Hey, man, shout out to our guy, man, Craig Sager Jr. It's his birthday today, man. Yes, sir. Uh, I want to give a shout out to him. Recently, him and his family, they uh, uh, won an award at the Atlanta, was it the Press Club? Uh, Touchdown Club. Um, yeah. Him and his family were there, and they were able to uh, win an award. Just been doing good things, you know, about his father who passed last year. Craig Sager Jr. has been doing good things. Friend of the show. Yes, sir. Friend of Val. So yes, happy indeed. birthday, man, and keep doing the good work, brother. We're with you out there. Craig Sager Jr. What you got, Mace? That's what I'm talking about. Hillgrove High School standout Evan Ingram. He continues to impress everybody in New York. He's been the talk of New York, OTAs, uh, all this good stuff, man. Even drew praise, high praise from Giants legend Mark Bavaro. 
Say Evan Ingram has the ability to be the greatest tight end in New York Giant history. Now, I do feel some kind of way about this because we're going to have to play him twice a year. And that offense, right, on paper, yeah. that offense potent. Yeah. And he is going to be a matchup nightmare. Evan, yeah. We know a little bit about Evan back in the day. Yeah, Hill Grove. Hill Grove High School. <laughs> um, just glad to see what he's been able to do, man, and his progress his career, man. And shout out to Evan, man. Glad to see that. We got another kid over there that went to North Con that we need to talk to that want to maybe come on the show that's having some issues in Baltimore. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Well, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. And if I'm able to give it, I'm also able to I'm gonna give you criticism. I got to give you some praise and give you some things. That's what I'm talking about to the, the, the ball family, Lonzo and LeVar. Mm. As much as crap I gave y'all at the beginning, it seems to be working out in your favor. And the reason why I want to say that's what I'm talking about is because you believed in him and you show him something else. And he played in three different shoes. Right. And, and, and it's still some league. I get that. But for what he's going through, Mace, crowds being over, the media attention, and for him to still play, that's what I'm talking about, Lonzo. I got to give you credit what credit's do. You know, I don't know how it's going to work when the league really get a touch now. It might be a little different. But for what you went through, for all the wolf tickets your daddy sold. As Rock just say, the Lakers are back. <laughs> Enjoy that summer league championship, buddy. <laughs> you got your summer league and MVP. But anyway, man, I just want to give you, because a lot of kids, there's a lot for your daddy to come out and say, my kid going to be this, this, and this. Yeah. You got it. And you about to get a contract. Yeah. Hey, some people called you crazy. You about to say ka -ching. so <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guy. And that's what's going to be interesting to see because season ain't going to start to like October. Yeah. So now he get to say, my boy, let's get this money right. Yeah. But I'm, I auditioned it. I did a really to him. I'm doing it. That's what I'm talking about. So no doubt. Got to be fair, man. Yeah. Got to be fair. You got anything else, man? Yeah, man. Real quick, this just came over the new, uh, news uh, wire. That's what I'm talking about. Elizabeth Williams and Lasia Clarity. They've been named as reserves to the WNBA All-Star Game. Two young ladies that's been in the studio with us, man. The crush match will continue, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's make some noise for that. I like that. Congratulations. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. To our girls. Hey, man, the, the luck of the crush continues. So, one, two, three. Um, tip, All-Star starter. Laser, and, and they all been. They all sat in the hot seat right there. They sure right did. Right. Set right there. I mean, I, I'm, all y'all don't want to come on the show. Hey, don't blame us. <laughs> don't blame us. Right, Brian? Don't blame us. We, we try to give y'all a platform to talk. They got used to it. But, hey, man, absolutely. Why? And we're getting some that's coming through the wire right now. But I, I'm, I have to say, man, I'm very excited for those ladies. We see the work they put in. We see the work they put uh, in. Every game. We see after the game what Elizabeth and um, – um, I mean, ladies had to go through all the stretching and ice and all that, man. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And it's so funny. Just gave that to Elizabeth today. Yeah, we did. Just, 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 just slapped the fire today. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That is absolutely awesome. I don't have any other stories, man, but I just want to say that's what I'm talking about to all the people that are making this bb &T go through today. We went by the office today. We saw the grind behind the scenes a little bit, Maceo. Shout out to y'all because y'all got to throw a big event this weekend. Boy, y'all got to get it popping. And what's crazy, man, is what people don't understand is this is right after Wimbledon, the first big event in a, in a series in Atlanta. So if you got a chance to go out, man, me and Mace, we got to throw some questions out for this gear, man. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got some stuff to give away. We got some stuff to give away. When we come back, man, we're going to talk some baseball. We right back. When it comes to saving money, don't act like a baby. Goo goo gaga. Be the boss and make a budget. I'm the boss, baby. You're the boss of me. I am the boss of you. Or not. M2. Or not. M2. <laughs> Need a little help? Aren't you going to do any work? I'm very busy delegating. Create a personalized savings plan. We can share. You obviously didn't go to business school. And get other tools and tips at feedthepig.org. Brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Coming to Tampa Bay, I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com. We came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was one of the biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but get knocked out again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying Colts are never going to win one. And I did wonder why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would. 
but I determined that I had to have Christ first and that everything else came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being our year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it, and it was a wonderful feeling. Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the lens of Jesus Christ, and he guide us to that ultimate victory. I'm Tony Dungy, and I am second. Your health is at stake. Diabetes, gout, high blood pressure, inflammation, and joint pain, even weight loss. It's time to end your battle. The Abundant Life Movement is dedicated to the building of generational health by transforming your water with the power of alkaline to improve hydration and fight against acidic and unhealthy conditions in the body. Here's a testimonial from Linda Rogers-Brown and Pamela McMillan. 2011, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had no pain and no symptoms associated with that illness. It's a silent killer. I was introduced to Extreme X2O alkaline water, and within two days of drinking it, I was off all my pain medicine, and now we're six years strong, no chemo, no radiation, no cancer. I am a three-time cancer survivor. I was born with thyroid cancer. By being on the alkaline products allowed me to be able to cope currently with colon cancer. Now I'm able to function and be more mobile within three days of being on the product. Extreme X2O, when the water you're drinking is damaging your health. Extreme X2O. For more info, Abundant Life movement.com or call 910-527-2260 people been saying to your friend get a different face and posting on their feed they're super ugly the things they say to them online are cruel and they're not true so tell your friend i'll stand up for you don't worry i know what to do know someone being bullied online you can be a witness and make a difference by letting the world know it isn't cool and by letting your friend know you care learn more at eyewitnessbullying.org brought to you by the ad council absolutely crush play ball hey man it's that time we get to talk some baseball people we gotta give you some major league it's just after the all-star we've gotten back into it maceo you want to just give us some nuggets real quick? Oh, man, you know, I got a few nuggets to talk about for you. What you got, man? First of all, the Houston Astros all-star shortstop Carlos Carrera is set to miss the next six to eight weeks with a torn ligament in his thumb. But lucky for the Astros, they are 15 and a half games up in the AL East. So gives him time to get himself healthy, get himself back, and make that run in October. Yeah, man. Yeah, that, that's a tough loss, though. Very tough. Uh, next quick nugget, Milwaukee Brewers catcher Stephen Voigt is on the 10-day DL after his home plate collision with Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher Chad Cool. Now, how you let the pitcher run you over at the plate, I don't know. <laughs> but when you when you know the pitcher coming down the line, you're supposed to meet him halfway. But let me ask you this, though. Yes, sir. Now they ask that catchers need to be a certain position. Was he at that position, or did he try to be old school and step in front it of the It kind of was old school because it's bang, bang. Right, right. And I just think instinct, because they've been taught their whole life to block the, that part of the plate. But you know the rules, they want him to step in front of the plate yeah, and yeah. reach back now. Right. So when he got ran right. out, like, yeah, he yeah, yeah. He was, he, was, yeah he, was old, <laughs> he was in the baseline. He was in the baseline. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chicago Cubs pitcher John Lackey is looking forward to starting fresh. With the second half of the season, uh, first half of the season, he had a 5.20 ERA, and he had a lot of injuries. They they want him to get back to that World Series form mm-hmm. that he had last year, as all of the Chicago Cubs. Mm-hmm. They really looking for the Cubs to, you know, hey, they, they need it. Wow. I'll uh, give you my top five real quick Knock going into the second half. Knock him out. Uh, at number five, I got the Arizona Diamondbacks. They're looking to add a big bat down the stretch. That's what they need to make this run. They have everything, but they don't have that thumper in their lineup. They manufacturing runs a lot. That's not a good look. Even for them, I mean, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, they need a big bat. Need a big bat. Number four, I got the Boston Red Sox. They need a third baseman, and they need a third baseman bad. Mm -hmm. Uh, GM Dave Dombrowski, he he's he beating the streets, right? Trying to see if he can find him one. Number three, the Washington Nationals losing Joe Ross out of their pitching rotation. That could be huge for our boy Dusty Baker, man. They look like they had everything in place. Now they lose Joe Ross. That puts pressure on that pitching staff that already kind of fragile just a little bit. They got a lot of money in that pitching staff. They got a lot of money in that pitching staff. And, again, having Joe Ross out 
It's going to be tough. Number two, the Houston Astros. Looking for the Houston Astros, they're averaging 6.6 .6 runs per game mm -hmm. since June 1st. So, ah, pitching, I, I was telling you how they're pitching. Is going to be a problem down the stretch. Right. Again, they had this big lead, so they're almost a shoe-in for the playoffs. And number one, uh, the L.A. Dodgers, different guys continue to step up in Hollywood. Alex Wood has won his first ten decisions when he walks out there to the mound. Is that two? T are they the only team with multiple? Yes, yes, yeah. they are. And rookie Cody Bellinger, he's hit twenty six home runs. Wow! So he's probably um, he probably gonna win Rick of the Year. I would I would venture to say that. Let me ask you this, man. Yes, yes, sir. I don't know who said it, and it was a source that said they believe that players may be juicing or still juicing. And you know when the home run get to a certain level, people start asking that question. Do you think baseball has done enough so far to squash that, or do you still think there's people maybe doing something and they just ain't getting caught right now? And you know the reason why. The minute they saw Aaron Judge doing what he's doing, yeah, with, the conversation came the, back The up. thing about it, with the, the suspensions they're giving you. That's 50 games. 50 games, yeah. then missing a the season. Guys would be crazy to be juicing now. And you can get – Call for a drug test at any time. So if, if if you if you have a stretch where you hit seven home runs in a, right. in, in a few days, right. basically you getting a call from the man, and they're gonna be sitting in the bathroom with you and getting that sample. And I would think with the way Aaron is playing, they probably. Yeah, hey, I, I'm pretty sure he's had that <laughs> test a couple of times. I'm hey, pretty hey, sure he bro, has. Uh, yeah, I, I, we proud of you, but can you go in? The, I'm pretty sure they're like, bro, you need to come pee in this cup. I just saw that comment. I was like, would baseball risks something like that coming out again and probably really destroying the sport if something was to come out that players have been juicing and they really just ain't been Like catching. I said, with the number of games they're giving these guys and, and you're not getting paid, that's, that's tough to miss 50 games. 50 games is hard. And then your second when you miss a season. Miss a, that's hard. Again, I, you know, my motto is always be don't do anything to have the game taken away from you. And that's the thing, man. I, I was just wondering that. And I was like, that's, that's, that's a bold statement to say. You know what I'm saying? That they may be still doing it because the baseball can't take the hit again. They can't take the hit if it they is can't. running rampant. And especially like a guy like Aaron Judge. Uh, I mean, he's the guy. Yeah. He, he's the hot guy right now. If if Bryce Harper, if we were to find out Bryce Harper uh, was was juicing, uh, uh, then the 400 mil out the window. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. You know, Mike Trout. You know, the the thought of Mike Trout being on the juice. It's not a good look, man. But I, I don't, I don't think like these guys. Said, just, I don't think they would do it. I, I don't think. I don't think it's on. It might ruin the team. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think they're crazy enough to do that. I, I just don't. Let me run through this top team from each from each league in the East American League. East Boston is up two games on the Tampa Bay Devil Rays and three and a half on the Yankees, uh, with 52 wins. The Cleveland Indians in the Central. You still like Boston in that? Who you like in the East, man? Yeah. I mean, it's back and forth. It's back and forth. I'm looking at it right now, and it's going to be tight between those three. It seems like those three. Well, last year was Baltimore, so let me not say. Yeah. It looks like it's those ba three ba Baltimore is going through that thing. Now they got a little dive going right now. It looks like it. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they. In the Central, Cleveland is up a game and a half on Minnesota and Kansas City. Is, is it Cleveland just a team to beat? Yeah, but Minnesota can catch them. Okay. M Minnesota has a better rotation. Minnesota stuff. When Minnesota plays away from home, when they when, when they away from the target center, they play much better. Yeah, they play much better. Um, in the West, dang Astros, man, they up fifteen and a half games. You might well put an X by their name. Yeah, yeah, you they in. Just they in. They 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 gonna X coast to the finish. Tough thing about having that kind of lead, you don't want your bats to cool down. You don't want you don't want your flow. Are they too young to maybe if they do? Cool they may off? not know what's going on. They they they. they they may not know what they're doing, and that's why they have to be such a big league. Houston is the, the story to talk about. Right. Look, man, I'm, I'm going to say this, and we about to take a break. The Braves are in second place, y'all. They the are. In a ten and a half game behind Washington. That playoff spot that everybody thought was no way. I said it wasn't happening. Boy, they trying to make me because – but they're playing the Cubbies this week. This is going to be the best stretch for the Braves to see what they got. They be, They swept. Arizona. They did. They lost to the Cubs yesterday. We're going to see what they do tonight after the rain. Let me just finish up. Milwaukee's in the Central up a three and a half on the Cubs. I think the Cubs come back. I, I, maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. And the Dodgers, of course, up ten and a half games. Got the best record in baseball at 64 and 29. We come back, man. Prime, I'm going to go ahead and jump and do it this day uh -oh. with my chest, man. So stay with us. It's crush. <laughs> You know you're 
listening to the dopest show on the airwaves, right? You're my boy! It's the, it's the crush. SSNATL.com. Thank you, sir. Indoor baseball, anyone? <laughs> Most party fouls are pretty dumb, but if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Learn more at ultimatepartyfoul.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? How could he do this to you? And for Sheila, sh she has split ends. B, console her. Oh, sweetie, this is going to happen a lot. Four, maybe five more times before you get married. C, take charge. Got to get this all straightened out. Keep a little talking to, man to man, mano a mano. Hey, Steve! Is now a good time? No? Okay, no problem. Bye. Or D, help her find a new boyfriend. I know a great place to meet boys. The internet. Nice, single boys. Never mind. How about some ice cream? As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. JBT 700 Miami Circle 30324. It's not a chain, it's a chain reaction. Invest $49 a month at a real gym. For more info, go to Facebook.com forward slash Jeans Body Tech. So five tacos, a cheese, and a large soda. That's ten thousand and twelve dollars. Please drive around. Wait, ten thousand what? It's obvious you're buzzed and driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's twelve bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around ten thousand dollars in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. If you're looking for that ratchet, you're in the wrong place. It's the nation's urban internet station, Sensation Station Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Crush fans, I'm Taisha Fernandez. You're listening to The Crush on Sensation Station Network. Hey man, we're back, man, and I've got to say a little something with my chest real quick. And, you know, at first when I got up this morning, I thought I was going to be, like, losing my mind. But after everybody's talked about it, I'm just going to put my opinion out there. Uh, Mike Vick, if we talked about it earlier in a hot topic about when Mike Vick was talking about what he thought about Colin and Kaepernick and cleaning up his image and all that. And there's been a lot of opinion about it. There have been people who said Mike Vick was right. He has to change his opinion. My question about that, because he needs to clean it up and do all of that thing, and then there's people like me who are like, for what? What did he do? What did Colin do that was so wrong that he now needs to go and apologize to the league? He needs to apologize to these players and these fans for disrespecting what? He took a need to bring up an awareness about police brutality. He said that, hey, my people or our people are getting brutality, and I just want to take a stance. He took a peaceful protest. He didn't go around bashing people. He didn't go around doing that. He just took a knee during the national anthem. What did that cause? That caused a big controversy. Everybody hated him. He was known as one of the worst persons in the league and all of that stuff to the point where they just hated Colin. So what I saw from Colin Kaepernick is the guy that I began to like. He became a guy that became essential to our neighborhoods. He was the guy that when the kids, when he went to the parole office, he had suits for guys coming right out of the parole office so they can get a chance to work. He was the guy that was given a million dollars to help incentives to anybody in the community who wanted to have a program that can help the community in doing things such as uh, programs to develop the youth and things of that nature. He's been in our community. He's been shaking hands and all of that. So then they start questioning his work ethic. Well, he wasn't a good quarterback anyway. I promise you right now there's not a better second round, second quarterback in the league that can say that they've been to a Super Bowl like Colin Kaepernick has. You want to talk about hair and facial things, Mike Vick, we understand that. And I won't get into the Mike Vick thing right now, but I want to say this. Ryan Fitzpatrick wore a beard last year that protruded through his helmet and threw over 25 interceptions last year. He's now the backup quarterback at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's not better than Colin Kaepernick, but you can keep telling yourself that. That's fine. Find your reasons. Find your reasons why. But here's what I'm going to say to people like this. Me and Macy Joe said it earlier. Mike Vick should have said to this, if I'm going to be a mentor, let me call this kid. Yes, you've been through it. 
Now, yours was a criminal activity. Colin did no criminal activity. Shout out to Shannon Shaw for pointing that out. He took a knee. You took dogs' lives. Two different things. Mm. So you had to change your image. Remember when we all bought into it? And the reason why Vic hurts me a little bit more because I'm an Atlanta true and true person. So there are certain people. My favorite basketball player all the time is Dominique Wilkins. A lot of people don't say that. <laughs> I do. Mike Vick was my favorite player in the NFL for a while. Even when he did the crime, I was like, he's going to get a second chance. Mike Vick, you got two chances. You got $200 million contracts. You went to Philly, got $100 million. And then you went to Pittsburgh. So you were able to play in the league. And let's be real, Mike, as great of athletes you were, you couldn't read defense at that great. Oh, let's be real. Oh. So now you're saying that the kid ain't got the – you couldn't read defense at that great, Mike. It hurts me to say this about you, Mike, because you we you might not ever talk to me again. You might only talk to certain people. That's fine. But let me just tell you right this. If you're going to spend your time going on talk shows, we got to chill right here for you, buddy. And we'll be glad to talk with you. And we'll be glad to talk about what we can do in the youth and do all that. We got your back. All we need for you to do, Mike, is have ours. And not win the first time. Yeah, you put a retractment statement out there. What you, what'd that do? That was cool. It's like you said, you slipped on the ice. The problem I had with it makes most of all, you could have stopped and said, wait a minute, let me clarify this statement before it gets out of hand. Right? You kept going. And next thing I know why I knew it was a bad statement, because the first person that went to tweet about it was Jason Whitlock, and he said, thanks for being 100 Mike Vick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing Jason Whitlock said. Thanks Anytime, for being 100. Anytime Whitlock agree with you. He Uh-oh. said it was awesome what he said. I agree 100% with Mike Vick. I don't want to get into the whole Jason Whitlock. I've said his name more times than I ever want to say it again. Right. And I never give him any more credit than what I just said. For the culture. It's for the culture. But here's what I'm going to say to Mike. The best way you can solve this issue and change it, and I see people saying, well, Mike, what are you going to do next, is talk to Colin. Talk to the brother. I'm sure you can find this number. Heck, we found yours. (laughs) You're in the league, Mike. Talk to the brother. You might hear something from Colin that you didn't even know for. This cat here, and I'm hoping Colin got his money saved so he really can tell the league, I don't need you. <laughs> Clearly he got his money saved. That's why he ain't tripping. That's why he ain't tripping. We want him in the league better than he wants him in the league. He signed a nice deal. He good. Yeah. He good. And Colin said to himself, okay, guys, I won't sit on my knee again, but I'm still going to be out here for my people. And we thought, I have a problem. And the reason why this passion is for me. Because what me and Macy are doing right now in Sports Talk, we hear all the time that we're supposed to look a certain way when we come places. And if you don't look this way, you can't do this. Well, guess what? We keep hearing glass shattering when we walk in. So for everybody who wants them to look a certain way to do a certain way, what does that prove? What is it going to be? So to my man, Colin, we got you, bro. Keep doing you. Vic, quit texting, quit social media, call a brother, and y'all talk about it, and not on air. I'll let you talk about it when we get back, Mace. Stay with us. Indoor baseball, anyone? (laughs) Most party fouls are pretty dumb, but if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Learn more at ultimatepartyfoul.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you, A, put yourself in her shoes? How could he do this to you? And for Sheila, she, she has split ends. B, console her. Oh, sweetie, this is going to happen a lot. Four, maybe five more times before you get married. C, take charge. Got to get this all straightened out. Keep a little talking to, man to man, mano a mano. Hey, Steve. It's now a good time? No? Okay, no problem. Bye. Or D, help her find a new boyfriend. I know a great place to meet boys. The internet. Nice, single boys. Never mind. How about some ice cream? As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. Hey, Dr. Phil here. You know, I help people solve difficult problems every day, but one problem has me stumped. 
childhood hunger. Nearly 16 million children in America struggle with it. Luckily, the Feeding America network of local food banks collects surplus food, giving hope to hungry children and their families. But they need your help. Join me in supporting Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Oh, we're back. Sorry about that. Well, that's the appetite for destruction right yeah, there, boy. Hey, Prime, we'll play that right now. Hey, <laughs> we're back, man. Militant. Hey, make sure, man, I'm going to give you a chance to respond, man. What were your response? Man, I, I mean, you, you were spot on, dude. I mean, you, 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 you were spot on. And like I said, my only problem with that was we have to reach out and talk to each other. That's it. You know, that that's the only thing. You, you can't. It just, if Whitlock hadn't have been up there, I might have been like, mm, okay. <laughs> but you sitting up there next to a dude who, I mean, he make a living doing that. Yeah. So, man, you were spot on, man. I, I, I totally enjoyed it. I, I knew you were going to bring some passion with it, man. And I just don't think that bothered me, man. And you, like I said, I've said his name one too many times. I think if I say it too much, I might go in the dust with the guy he was with. But for him to come out and say, I 100% agree, he was right, it just bothered me because. He that kind of guy. If Vic had a problem, Kaepernick has said he looked up to Vic. Because all of them have. Because of the style of play he played. All, Everybody all said them he have. Could do this. Vic, Vic, Vic is, and, and, and again, we we we've, we've been around him. He he still has that it quality. When he steps in the room, you're like, dang, that's Vic, man. So it it shouldn't be hard for Mike to call somebody who calls somebody who like, oh man, yo, this Colin number. And then, cause like even now, he still should make that phone call. I told him, I said, even though after this first call, I'm like, hey, Colin, let's talk, man. Not yeah. no texting. Yeah, man, let's go. Yeah, let's yeah. Grab something to eat. We we not gonna go tit for tat. Yeah. 140 characters on Twitter. Yeah, let's play. And let's talk let's, about let's, it. let's talk about it, man. Because we, could you imagine if they do talk and people know they talk and they come to an agreement? And, and, and but think about the power that they can create if they can sit down. Cause people always, you know, I'm always with man. Let's talk it out. Yeah. Man, let, man, you know, it don't have to be like say we don't need no Twitter finger. Yeah. You know. Uh, we going snap for snap, all that. No, nah, man, let's get in the room. Yeah, I mean, we can we can rent out a wherever. Nobody, no, nobody has to know you had the meeting. I mean, it's, it's not for public consumption. But when you do what you did, now everybody gets into it. Right, and not everybody's so, going to get an opinion. And the thing about Mike Vick as well is we're talking about him now as the icon that he is. We never left Vick when that all went down. When he came out, well, some people didn't. <laughs> His community. I saw the line when he went to Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, he was the eagle. Yeah, he was the eagle. Yeah. But I'm just talking about when he went to jail. We were like, man, we hope he get a second chance. Yeah. Oh, well, without we, doubt. We without doubt. Him. We said go. Yeah. When he went to Philly, I was, that was one of my sore points too. But yeah, anyway, Philly, I was like, he in the East, man. I mean, it was to we the point where people still were like, he should have started with Matt Ryan, and we were like, man, we about to go to the Super Bowl. You still saying that? That's how much they back Mike Vick. Yeah. And when he got a chance to get on a public TV station, he went and said that. That kind of hurt everybody. Like, no, Vic. Yeah. Our boy Ty from the Happy Hour on Fridays. He, boy, I yeah. thought we gonna have to console him. We go yeah, man. Ty, him. Ty, really, he really hurt. And I mean, you know, not not to jump off the subject much, but I mean, you know, y'all also wanted uh, Matt Schaub over Matt Ryan to start the season, but you don't know, be saying me, man. Not, I'm not. I just say I did. You, you guys are a collective. Yeah, I know you got. You know, y'all not a nation yet, but y'all a collective. <laughs> And now I was kind of like, okay, it's a good backup. <laughs> but <laughs> no, Matt had to step up his game. I was like, man, we need Matt to step up and get that 20 mil. He did, man. He did. Look, man, um, like I say, there are people out there I really respect who had an opinion as former Vic, you know, our people. I don't want to say their name on air, but there's a lot of people I respect your opinion. And some of y'all have some great points, especially people that we all know. But my thing was with the whole thing, I was really disappointed that he went that avenue that quick. You know how some people get up there and they kind of lead into it? That was one when Mark Slareth say, "Man, I'm surprised you talk about the haircut." The only white guy that was on the panel with Eric Davis. <laughs> that's when I was like, even he noticed that was an issue, man. Mark Davis, Mark, but he's like, "Wow, wait a minute, y'all, you talking about the haircut?" <laughs> so I just, you know, we always want to go to a place where we want to say we have to look a certain way. Dog, they will put you in jail no matter how well you look. Tiger Woods is the guy. He got locked up, and they put a big check mark in his thing saying black. Yes. And he been trying to deny that for years. But when he went to jail, the first thing they checked in that box, black. <laughs> so and he's as clean cut as he comes, baby. So it doesn't matter how you shave your hair or cut it up. 
certain things are just going to be certain things. And and before we talk about the clean cut, when the Giants, the only way that he might even get to the point where they really like him again is he's going to have to come in there and make a public apology for doing it. Embarrass himself, get up there with a whole bunch of people in front, camera people, and say, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have took a knee. Yeah. And I but, don't think Colin going to do that. But like I say, no, nah, and, and he shouldn't because it's right. But I still, I, I do believe that the state of quarterback play, as the season goes on, a team is going to – they're going to have to call him. And you know what, though? <laughs> they got to call him. And let's be real about Mason. Colin ain't saying nothing else. No. Nah. Colin ain't bringing this stuff up. Colin's out there just doing what he do. He doing, he doing, he doing work. He doing work, He's just doing work. But know that, like like his agent said, man, he's working out every day. Yeah. You know, he, and he one of those workout warrior kind of guys anyway. Yeah. So, you know. So, Colin, it's like, I'm just balling, man. Yeah, yeah, they doing these conversations off the strip, man. He, he'll get a call. Quarterbacks will go down. He will get a call. So he will play. You know, week three, four, five, six. Somebody going to – I mean, who you going to call? Vince Young? You Johnny saw, Manziel? You saw what Vince did. Right. We'll be right back. Three calendars knows that you may not have time to roll out dough for a perfectly flaky crust that's made from scratch. Or enough time to mix vegetables with all white meat chicken and a homemade gravy. She knows you may not have a moment to crimp the edges of your favorite chicken pot pie. But Marie Callender's does. And when she's done, all you need to do is find time to grab someone special. Sit down and savor. Marie Callender's. It's time to save. When I grow up, I want to be a new pair of blue jeans. When I grow up... I want to be a kid's first computer. I want to be a warm place on a cold I want to be day. A football stadium. I want stadium. to be a bike that races around the country. I want to be a bench on a forest trail. When I grow up, I don't want to be a piece of garbage. And if you recycle me, I won't be. Give your garbage another life. Recycle. Learn how at IWantToBeRecycled.org. Brought to you by Keep America Beautiful and the Ad Council. There's a power you have within you unlike any other. You can't explain it. It's just there. Yeah. It drives you, compels you. You can not ignore it. Do you feel it? It's that power that tells you you can do the absolute impossible. The power that tells you you're more than what you currently are. The power that tells you it's time. Launch. Move. Skyrocket your life with Rocket Sports One Fitness Gear. RocketSports-One.com your health is at stake. Diabetes, gout, high blood pressure, inflammation, and joint pain, even weight loss. It's time to end your battle. The Abundant Life Movement is dedicated to the building of generational health by transforming your water with the power of alkaline to improve hydration and fight against acidic and unhealthy conditions in the body. Here's a testimonial from Linda Rogers-Brown and Pamela McMillan. 2011, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had no pain and no symptoms associated with that illness. It's a silent killer. I was introduced to Extreme X2O alkaline water, and within two days of drinking it, I was off all my pain medicine, and now we're six years strong, no chemo, no radiation, no cancer. I am a three-time cancer survivor. I was born with thyroid cancer. By being on the alkaline products allowed me to be able to cope currently with colon cancer. Now I'm able to function and be more mobile within three days of being on the product. Extreme X2O, when the water you're drinking is damaging your health. Extreme X2O. For more info, Abundant Life movement.com or call 910-527-2260. And so a new American industry has been born. Sensation Station Network. Hey man, we're back. Just have, before we go to the thing, we just talking a little bit, make sure. So when you, um, I want to ask you a question. When you first heard the story last night, uh, you know, the hot topic we've been talking about with Vic, you posted, you like, really, man? You put the really out there. What were your initial thoughts, man? Did you think it was real? I just, again, I looked at the situation that he was in, where he was, and who he, who he was sitting next to. I was like, oh, yeah, that, that came out bad. Yeah. And then I also know that, you know, being, being around and having a chance to talk to him, yeah. that, you know, <laughs> He don't really – a lot of stuff, he, I don't think he really thinks a lot of stuff out because kind of like when, you, you know, you ask him questions, it's kind of like – and he wants to – he wants to kind of like, okay, process it, and then kind of, okay, this is what I'm going to say. Yeah. So I just think – I think the question – I kind of think the question caught him off guard, and I think he just kind of like, well, yeah, he's – you know, because so he probably had a conversation with somebody about that, 
And he was like, well, you know, hey, well, I know. But it, it's just the way it came, came out. out and, it, again, it's who he was sitting next to. Like, you on Skip and Shannon. Yeah. And y'all kind of talked about it. That didn't come out your mouth. And then he didn't come out. That didn't come out your mouth. So, for out. you to be with Whitlock, and then, like I say, so we know that people have pre-show meetings and yeah. all of this stuff here. So, you know, no telling what they kind of talked about. And he probably felt like, you know, hey, okay. It come up, I'm going to have to go with this. Yeah. So, I mean, you know. That was man. a pre-thought. That wasn't nothing just, he had to thought about that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, it's it clearly been, been on his mind. But like I say, be, being uh, being around him, like we've had, like, and having conversations with Mike, yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of like, you know. And we know people that know Mike. So right, and the way it came out so fast, like I say, he, he kind of thinks a lot of stuff through before he kind of, yeah. before he talks about and it. And that so. means to me he thought about it. Hey, look, you know. I know we got some friends, some mutual friends that know Vic. He can come and talk to me any day of the week right here. And I mean, I don't want it to be no thing where I'm trying to bully. But I just want him to talk to Colin. Right. Right. Just say, bruh, no, I don't want to do no tweets, no Yeah, no yeah we're, not having no, we're having, not having no tweet off. I'm going to meet you in this city. Yeah. We're going to go eat, yeah, let's break make it bread, happen. and talk. Let's make it happen. Because he could use you. Colin probably could use a good friend, a guy who's been through some turmoil. Right. And, and boy, who, and who been in more turmoil than the seven? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So it'd be nice to maybe say, hey, Vic, what do you thought? Let's talk about what I'm doing. Yeah. Can you help me do some of these things? It was, it was a guy at the Dream Game that had on the, uh, a Kaepernick jersey today. <laughs> and it's always funny, man. So, hey, real quick, man, I, I'm just still – I posted real quick. And a lot of people loving it, man. Our girls, man, three girls from the Dream are going to the All-Star game. Oh, without a doubt, man. Real quick, Co. Andrew said, here's the thing. Vic never said his hair is the reason why Cap is not in the league. He said to change the perception of himself, he needs to cut his hair, Coach Andrews. That ain't the reason he said he wasn't in the league. I'm just saying, but he's saying that he needs to change his perception. And that means cutting his hair. That's why he started with that. First thing he needed to do is cut his hair to have the people like what he did, to like him now. And that ain't going to make them like him. I can tell you that now. What they want is, is once he cut his hair, what's next? <laughs> now I want you to dress a certain way. Once you do that, what's next? I want you to do an interview in front of everybody and tell them that you're sorry for taking a knee last year. Then we might let you in. Meanwhile, drunky and druggy is getting called from leagues. To come play for them. And his image is trash. Mm. And that's Johnny Manziel. He has said teams have showed interest in him. And he has a horrible image. Horrible. But our guy has to cut his hair to make everybody feel safe. And let's be real about it. Mm. Mm. And that's how I say that. No, he didn't say that wasn't why he was in the league. League Vic said his skills, which is funny to me because <laughs> his skills are the reason why he's not in the league. And I, you know, he's, you know, so that's kind of what he's why I'm funny with me. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep moving with that. But, uh, yeah, and I'm with you, Andrew. Not now, you know, when, when you start using the coon word and all this stuff. Now, I'm, I'm not calling nobody outside of now. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, I, yeah. And now, you never heard me call him out his name. I yeah, said, nah, nah, nah. I don't nah. do that. A lot of people did. But, <laughs> but, but y'all, 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 y'all know people. Y'all, y'all, y'all know once people, once, once, once they get retweeted about 10 times, y'all know everybody just run all off. Yeah. With it, they run. They they really run with it. Nah, I wasn't gonna do no. I'm not gonna call him out his name. That's why you know, hey man. I, I, I didn't call Whitlock out his name. I just I, said I got I, a, I got a microphone. Like I don't have to go I'm, back I'm and forth with y'all. Uh, Even yeah. Whitlock, I don't call him out his name. I don't yeah, care for him too much, but I don't call him. Out his name. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, so five tacos of cheese and a large soda. That's ten thousand and twelve dollars. Please drive around. Wait, ten thousand what? It's obvious you're buzzed. And driving. I've only had a few. I'm fine. Yeah, the food's 12 bucks, but getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Please drive around. Actually, just park and come in. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. I'm Paul George of the Indiana Pacers. When I was six, my days were spent playing basketball. When I was six, my dream was to make it to the NBA. When I was six, my mom had a stroke. So I want you to learn to spot a stroke fast. F-A-S-T. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. I'm Paul George. Spot a stroke fast. Visit strokeassociation.org. 
Brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. JBT 700 Miami Circle 30324. It's not a chain, it's a chain reaction. Invest $49 a month at a real gym. For more info, go to facebook.com forward slash jeans body tech. Hey guys, it's your girl Brenna B. I want to tell you about something pretty amazing. My friends over at Buckhead Laser Lipo have an option for you. You want to lose those inches, you want to get in shape, spring is here, summer is upon us. We have a way for you to lose those inches quickly, immediately see results. $99 is your first treatment, no surgery, no pain, no downtime, just inch loss. Who doesn't want to be in shape for the summer? Buckhead Laser Lipo, 678-871-0097. BuckheadLaserLipo.com. Hey, this is John Legend. Hey, what's happening, man? It's the King speaking. Oh, this is Jeremy. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? You gotta be. Station, station. Network. Man, we in this crush recap brought to you by Blunt Power. With Blunt Power three sprays last for days. You can find out more about Blunt Power. Go on to their website, bluntpower.com, or go on to their website, uh, their Facebook or Twitter page at Blunt Power to find out more. Hey, uh, yeah, shout out to Greg Chain. We're going to be making us a run. We got to stock up because we got shells now. Yeah. We need to put Blunt Power yeah, I need to behind put, us. We need to put the joint right back down. Put one of the. Got to put yeah. back here. Without a doubt. With the big box. I got to find out if he got the. Uh, he got the big box too. Yeah, but I, I, I want one of them Blunt Power stand ups. Yeah. Hey man, great show today, man. I'm, I'm, what are your thoughts on what um, Mr. Lewis was talking about, man? I like it, man. And I mean, for for a guy who's in the community, uh, he's out there coaching these kids. I mean, to to try to find a supplement, try to find the answer. I always like guys who try to find answers, man. I like I like I like go getters like that. In your opinion, are kids working harder these days? Younger? I'm not gonna say they working harder. I think more more is put on them. Okay. Similar because, cause, I mean, a lot of people just out there. Now, let's make yeah. no mistake about it. True. But you do have a, a, a group of kids who, who put their work in. And that's the thing, man. I, I, I'm glad because one of the things that we do see kids, the truest statement he made, kids will work their butt out. And this could be, I want to say, I'm going to ask you this real quick. Is it a community type thing? Because it could be anywhere. Yeah. Because once you finish playing the game, yo, let me get that, uh, Big chicken sandwich or that, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. piece or it's, that. It's, it's I mean, it, it, it's an educational thing because I mean, I, I think about like we were in school. I man, I, like our pregame meal. We we when we got our own pregame meal. So you might eat Wendy's. Folk might go eat Chinese food. <laughs> so I mean, you I mean we didn't we didn't know had that two ninety nine special around. Right. So I mean, you know, and with with everything that's out now, you figure out. Well, you know what? We probably would have been even better with proper nutrition. I was driving around. Um, one time with the kids, and I took them around Marsh Brown and by Ashby Street. What is, I don't know what it's called now. It's not Ashby no more. Yeah, no, nah, nah, it's Boone. Boone, yeah. yeah. So we rolled by there. Like, look at that little McDonald's. I said, y'all don't understand. That McDonald's was a lifesaver. Two for two. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah, that that McDonald's thing? was a, was a that thing say the, I told him about the KFC. I said, you look at that KFC. That's the KFC that was in school day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? And this is what we ate. This is what we ate. So I get it, man. Yeah, when the minute you finish, and, and a lot of kids don't get the nutrients they got. But the product, man, you know, I'm not a berry guy, but it tasted good once a day. We're going to try it with our athletes, Mace. Let's see what happens, man. Yeah. Check yeah. them out. Like I said, I, I like guys who look for answers, man. And what's it on the, what's it, www. www.eliteyouthnutrition.com. Elite Youth Nutrition. Y'all go check it out, man. For all those who got those hardworking kids that do their thing, man. Go check yeah. them out. Yeah. Hey, we was at the Dream Game today, man. Dream won, 88-75. After being down 17 points. Yeah, they, 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 that eleven thirty star. I, I I bet Coop look on that schedule like, oh, Lord, 11 They got another star. one more against Washington. Yeah, they play, yeah. yeah. Well, but Deladon is out. Yeah, yeah. So they might can do back-to-back. They need to go 500 before the break. Yeah. They just need to. Yeah. I just want them to get a spot in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I think – they uh, with the rook with Brittany Sykes. Brittany is a matchup nightmare. Yeah, uh, you, you you're starting to see it more. She I mean she can blow by people when that ball got stuck in the rim today, and she just effortlessly jumped up oh, there. Like, I, like no one. I meant missed. to ask her that too. Why don't you just dunk in the game? One jump. <laughs> yeah, like it wasn't even. I mean, she gets off the floor so fast, <laughs> and, and, and she got them long arms. Shout out to our people. Cameron Lynch was stopping by the game today. Yeah, man. Cameron Lynch went hand. Syracuse stick together. 
Syracuse State together. One of the most underrated schools as far as love for their school. Right. We're going to be honest with you. I didn't know that many of them Syracuse people stayed in Atlanta. There's a lot of Q's people around here, Macy. So shout out to Syracuse. Lynch B. We got a big show next Monday, man. It's going to be one of our – we're going to have fun next Monday. Man. Oh, yeah, man. It's going digital. Lynch going to stop by before he goes to camp. He said, yeah, man. Stop yeah, by man. the show, man. Yeah, Holler yeah. his boys, man. Yeah, well, yeah. So, man. Before, we, before he become your enemy. Yeah. I like to do, man. When I saw you went to Tampa Bay, I was like, no. <laughs> but it was funny. And what we're going to talk about, you know, when Lynch, we had him in here, everybody was talking about he was a tweener. Now he is the standard of an NFL linebacker. He told us he doesn't even do weights. Yeah. He says yeah. he's working on his speed. Working on speed. Yeah, I'm strong enough. Because you a linebacker, you got cover slots. Yeah, yeah. And, and they get enough weight work, but like I say, it's probably not his focus. Yeah. Cause like I say, he's doing a lot of covering. Because if he can cover well, he'll be in the league in a while. Yeah, I mean, they, they flex out tight ends. Now they motion backs out the backfield. You got to chase these guys 10, 12 yards down the field. I still make sure. Did y'all ever use tight ends? Who? It may. Did you have good tight ends? Yeah, we yeah, we we, yeah, we had a we had a couple of we had a couple of sets. Yeah. We always like in like when I was at Douglas, I would sneak Greg Smith at tight end, a sneak Taron Jones at tight end. We would have a tight end, yeah. but like show you a lot of formations. Then I sneak Greg down there, and we run like a little scene. Yeah. And then we had a kid, a uh, uh, battle, the, the younger battle, Broderick battle, yeah. and like battle was a. Very good wide out, but we would stick him that that tight end and just do it. Man, you match up nightmare. Because it's tough. I'm look because we've had some big six three, six four tight ends. Yeah. Like, it's hard to cover if they can get Listen, out there and get out there, man. I think about the year we were at West Lake and we played here, grow open up. <laughs> Evan Ingram was man, hey, bro. You here. We was like, man, okay, what do he play? <laughs> Cause how you cover him? He's strong. <laughs> you can't that's why these linebackers, you can't put a yeah. slot guy on. That's why, you know, they make so much money. Yeah, out. they would line him up a tight end. He'd be a fullback. Then they motion him out. Or he might be out wide. So you like, well, I really can't put a corner out there. Yeah. Because he just going to bite at the corner. Yeah, man. It's a tough matchup decision. nightmares, man. He'd be like, okay, I'm going to slide my linebacker. Oh, he too big. But yeah. that's when them guys, certain guys are just freaks. Yeah. Certain yeah. guys just freaks, man. Hey, man, great show today, man. We had a lot of fun, a lot yeah. of conversation. Yeah. We, you know, we won't talk about it much no more. I mean, with the big thing, I just we just want to get it out there. It was a hot topic. Yeah, I mean, here, the rest of you shows just just drag it on for another two yeah, weeks. We do it, do what y'all do. It's we so kinda, much. It's so much that we gotta do because we got a big recruiting show tomorrow. We're gonna be talking recruiting. Hey man, real quick, Johnny Claw, y'all know about this basketball team. They won uh they won a tournament this Shout weekend. Out, Johnny. That's what I'm One of his boys has three offers: UConn, Kansas State, and SMU. Awesome. Coming out his program. Awesome. Uh, anti AAU baby. Keep awesome. up that good work, Johnny awesome, Claude. Johnny. Keep up that good work, guys. Man. Hey, I didn't know he was that close to Kale. He was telling me, hey, man, I'm working right over in that area. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah. that's what's up, man. Y'all go catch some other five guys. Y'all might bump it all the blank again. And this year, man, me and Mace have we kind of talked to people. We're going to really put emphasis on basketball this year as well. Because yeah, yeah. We got our so guy much talent. coming up. It's yeah. so much talent in Georgia, man. We got our guy coming up. So uh, in August, matter of fact, so we're gonna talk to Georgia, Georgia Hoops, Hoops Circle people because mm-hmm. uh, there are so much good basketball in Georgia. People, I, I swear, you can go watch the tournament anywhere. Get on board. You can watch the tournament anywhere. We're gonna make sure we highlight it again, like we do high school football. We're gonna highlight the high school basketball. Football, well. But in a couple of weeks, we'll be at Georgia exactly. State for the Corky Kale. Mills Creek was already talking about their first practice today. <sighs> It is on, man. It's time, man. High school is cranking up. All the some of all these seven on seven. Throw the stop it. No more seven on seven. Put them pass on. Who wanted with these pass? Oklahoma drill. Let's it's go. It's tired of his and clack a lack him. It's tired of hit. Thank you to Tyrone Lewis for coming by. Yes, sir. Thanks to our guy Chandler Brown. Gonna hear a lot from that kid. One of you know, good. I had the coaching to his. Got family, a good man. smile on him, man. Got a good smile on him. Thank you, Prime. Great job. Thank you, Mace. Yes, indeed. Again, yes, congratulations indeed. to Lasia and Elizabeth for making the all-star team. Shout out to it. We'll be back tomorrow doing it what we do, Recruit 101. Man, guess who'll be back? When they'll be back tomorrow? You sure? Hey, <laughs> when they'll be back tomorrow? She ain't going to be at boot camp, but she back. Hey, we'll be right. See y'all tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>